Hey everybody, it's the Reverend here with another uh, Live to Play Network video road test. We're uh, going to be looking at something a little different today, getting away from the digital recorders uh, for a week and uh, looking at that, um, the distro from PD power system. Um, before we get into that, let's talk power a little bit. If uh, you know, we started covering lighting in the last issue of Singer Musician, and uh, when you start getting into lighting, you start getting into bigger power requirements. You know, it's one thing when you're out there, uh, you know, you're an acoustic guitar player, or you're a guitar player in a band, or a keyboard player, or whatever. Um, you don't think that much about power needs because uh, you don't need a huge amount. You know, it's like you, you need to have enough outlets, and when you need more outlets, you go make sure you have yourself your handy dandy little power strip, you know. But the problem is, when you start, uh, when your power needs start going up, that power strip ain't going to handle it. Let's talk about power for just a little minute here before we get too far into the, uh, into the road test. Um, what we're worried about is, is current, amp levels, things, uh, when when it, when you blow a breaker, a circuit breaker, what that means is that you've drawn too much current or too many amps um, uh, over that circuit. Um, they're set up at different levels depending on the size of the wire that's behind it, and it's to make sure the wire doesn't burn up. You know, so the uh, the rating on the uh, the circuit breaker is in amps, and the way you figure the number of amps you're using on any piece of equipment is to take the watts, which we think of often as a volume thing, and there is a relationship between watts and volume. It's something called SPL watts, but it's more math than you want to get into right now, trust me. Um, watts divided by volts equals amps. So, um, let's see if we can do another little... So, let's take another, uh, another example. Say we've got a, uh, a small band, you've got two guitar amps, guitar amp 1 at 100 watts, which is typical for, for a guitar amp, guitar amp 2 at 100 watts, a bass amp at 500 watts, bass amps usually use a lot more power uh, just to get the headroom you need to get low end, and a small PA system. For, for our purposes, we're going to say that this is a, uh, a, a passive board and a couple of powered speakers putting out 200 watts each. Total wattage is 1,100 watts. Okay, so we're going to pad that up to 1,200 just to be safe. Um, and then if you look at your typical residential or business electrical service, is 120 volts. And a 10 amp circuit is fairly standard for what you can see on most home uh, circuit breakers. Uh, sometimes 15, um, uh, and on, a biz on business ones, you'll go higher than that. Okay, why is this important? Well, if we're at 1,200 watts and 120 volts, that means that 1,200 watts is taking up 10 amps. In other words, if it's a regular old home business uh, circuit breaker, you're at the limit of what that breaker will handle. Uh, now, what if you need to plug something else in? Well, you could be screwed. Now, there may be more than one plug around that stage, but you don't know that they're on different circuits. And that's where something like the distro comes in. Uh, we need to look at one other thing here to explain. Um, the way power works, and we don't want to get too far into this. I mean, you, when you really get into this, you need to be a licensed electrician or be working with one. But the way power comes into your house it's about 7,200 volts outside, typically. Um, and when it comes in, it goes to a step-down transformer, which takes it down to what is what's called bi-phase or uh, or two-leg, three-wire power. The middle wire is neutral, and then there's two powered legs, line one and line two, each at 120 volts. Um, but if you combine the two of them together, you add a 240 volt level. So what's coming into your house? is actually 240, or most businesses, um, including clubs, is uh, 240 volts, but then it's divided so that what's coming out of the, uh, the uh, electrical outlets is 120 volts. So what this PV distro unit does is takes advantage of the fact that what you really got is a 240 volt circuit. 
you will see that it's got a big, massive power cord coming out of the back of it. And on the end of that power cord is a plug that may not look familiar to you unless you've spent any time plugging in things like uh, electric dryers or ranges, uh, stoves, things like that. That's a 240 volt um, electrical outlet connector. Um, uh, so, if you're going to use one of these, you, 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 in most houses you can find one in, in almost any business. You'll find one. You've got to seek it out. It'll usually be back in the kitchen. Uh, this is a rack mountable unit. You might want to rack it up by itself because here's what you get. You plug in your 240 volt circuit and around back on this unit, what it does is it takes that 240 volts and it divides the two legs up and gives you, you can see there, a total of one, two, three, four, five, six different circuits, each with two out outlets. Each one of those is 120 volts, 20 amps maximum. So it's that's why it's called distro power distribution. This is really kind of a groundbreaking thing. PV came out with it a while back. There's lots of power distro units out there made by um, high-end pro companies like Motion Labs that sound and lighting companies use all the time. But they're really expensive, thousands of dollars, and you really need to know electricity before you start using one. Um, this is the first one I've seen that's set up and made to be used for uh, musicians and smaller bands who just have, who see their power needs going up. Um, on the front panel, you've got a total of six circuit breakers. You know, they turn on and off just like the ones at your house. If you trip one, it'll trip just like that. You know it's off. The only thing that that's, could be a little confusing if you don't understand it is, you'll notice there's two lights here that say X and Y. Those represent the two legs of power that are going uh, into the unit. Remember we said it's 240 volts coming in, which is split into 220 volt legs. You want to try and keep those legs as balanced as possible. Um, and I believe the way this is set up, I know that three of the circuits are on one leg and three are on the other. I don't remember if it's A, B, and C are on one and D, E, and F are on the other, or it's A, C, and E, and B, D, and F. I'm not sure. You'd have to check the manual. But uh, either way, you're, you have three each at 120 volts, 20 amps. Um, uh, this is a great little, uh, this is a great tool. Um, I, I do lighting as well as sound. I can't tell you how many times I've gone into a place and had to sit and explain to them why, you know, the two little extension cords they're giving me wasn't going to be enough to power the system. I've had gigs where I've blown, I had a gig once where I turned on one power amp too many and blew out the circuit that had all of the TVs all the satellite TVs on it. This was during the second quarter of an NBA playoff game in a sports bar. I was not a very popular person. If you're carrying something like this, you don't need to worry about that happening. Basically, you're carrying, this is insurance. You know that when you walk into a place, as long as you can find the proper outlet, which almost every business, especially bars or clubs or anything, are going to have, then you can, uh, then you can get the power you need. Dead simple to use, two rack spaces, doesn't weigh a lot. It's a great little unit from PV. Um, you can find it at their website and uh, online at a number of retailers. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, this is the Reverend, and uh, we're done for the night. See y'all.